Rules on data sharing under the name person scheme are so complicated, teachers and health visitors will need legal degrees to understand them, MSPs have heard. This week, Deputy First Minister John Swinney was grilled on the code of practice intended to guide named persons on sharing sensitive information about children. Representatives of Scotland's top legal organisations also attacked the code. Janice Scott QC of the Faculty of Advocates said its complexity would be intimidating. The thought of a primary school teacher sitting down at four o'clock in the middle of marking a load of books and thinking this one through without help and trying to make their way through a code of practice on things which I, as a lawyer, would find difficult, in the knowledge that if they get it wrong, it's going to be raised in a court of law, strikes me as be being something which would be unattractive. Responding to MSP's criticism, Swinney agreed to consider their views, but said that the final version of the scheme would be his decision to make. Simon Calvert, of the campaign group No to Name Persons, said it is a disgrace that the Deputy First Minister is failing to listen to concerns. Well, you really couldn't make it up. Ministers did not listen to concerns about the named person scheme the first time they were legislating, and it doesn't seem that they've learned anything from that. I mean, Mr Swinney might as well have sat in that committee room with his fingers in his ears. He, he seemed frustrated at even having to answer questions from MSPs. And frankly, it's a disgrace the way that the concerns of MSPs and of lawyers and of parents are just being swept aside.